Hey gamers! Today I'm going to review a classic game, Half-Life. Half-Life is the first game from a pretty successful company, Valve and Steam. It was a big deal in the gaming scene at the time, but I'm going to see if it really lives up to its name. So we have to skip all the boring shit at the start. Half-Life is your typical FTS game. Space is dark, right clicks melee, whatever. I mean, it wasn't even released on the Xbox, so... Anyway, the first thing I notice when I start this game is that it's, like, really fucking boring. I don't even get any guns until halfway through, which may be why they call it Half-Life. But, to be honest, I think that's because of the zombies. But that doesn't really make sense either, because zombies are undead and not half alive, so fucking scrubs. Anyway, I get I get a crowbar finally, which is cool. Well, actually it's not. But they also give me another gun. Gun. It's like a gravity gun. Uh, they give it a nerdy as fuck name in the game, I don't care. What I do care about is that it's a direct rip-off of another game. The Bulls, you may have heard of it. It's a pretty gay name, but I'm pretty sure they invented the gravity gun. So I was disappointed with that too. Like a try-hard zombie game with nothing new in it. Anyway, I played through a little bit more, but I had basically no hardcores. And there are always heaps of losers following me around. The important thing isn't how much the game sucked though, but that a whole bunch of modders and hackers used it to create all of the multiplayer FTS games that we have. And this is where it all started. So some of the games that came from Half-Life is Counter-Strike, Counter-Strike Condition Zero, Deleted Scenes, and Counter-Strike Source, and uh, Left 4 Dead 2, and Team Fortress 2. Basically, these games started the FTS genre. There are heaps of other games that are directly modeled from Half-Life 2. Shit games like Quake and Day of Defeat Source. But then better games like Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, and the Halo Trilogy. So, this is a pretty comprehensive review. I hope it wasn't too much knowledge at once. And before I score it out of 10, thank you to the best gamers. You're pretty cool, guys. Okay.